Welcome everyone to Moving Forward with Andrea. Today is October 5th. I am in Davio's wonderful restaurant in Foxborough, Massachusetts, with the beautiful Marie Catherine, former Miss Rhode Island International of 2011. And it is October 5th, 2013, once again. So we're going to start. I'm going to ask Marie how she got involved in her career of modeling. And I know she started at a very young age, but I also want to know what her goals are and how she kept that going. So Marie, tell me, what is it that got you started? I know um, you started with your modeling career. Can you please tell me uh, how that all came about and how old you were when you started getting serious about that? I started modeling around the age of about 25. I had been in two really unhealthy relationships and I just wanted to do something for myself. So I started modeling as an outlet to just gain some confidence to move forward in my life. So in other words, to keep the negativity out of your head, to keep focused on you, and you're telling to our listeners, is that you did something positive for yourself, is something that makes you feel good about yourself, correct? Indeed. It does make me feel really good about myself. Whenever I'm in front of the camera, I just light up. It's just such a great opportunity to really get to know yourself, love yourself, and continue to move forward in your life. Excellent. So now, moving forward from that, um, you are 25 years old, you're building your career. How did you get involved in the pageant? I know there's a little story behind that, and you have a lot to tell me on that. And can you tell our folks out here where that all came about? And I know it was for a gr great cause. So the reason I got involved in the international pageant system was primarily because they focused on a platform. They were an organization that wanted you to plug a platform and discuss it and move forward in how you loved that platform and what it meant to you. So when to discuss my um, organization, which is Pink Insurance. Pink Insurance is a nonprofit organization that funds for genetic testing of cancer, ovarian, and breast. It is it involves the process of a BRCA analysis test in order to discover whether you are susceptible to breast or ovarian cancer. And why, what was the main reason why you got involved in that? Was somebody close to you had it or you worried about it just for your own self or a friend or can you uh, elaborate on that for me Marie? Sure thing. Um, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer and I saw how much she went through and it just, it pulled down my heartstrings. So this organization is near and dear to my heart and I think every woman should have the ability to be able to know whether they in the future will have breast or ovarian cancer. Excellent. I hear you on that. My mom had breast cancer. She's in remission for four years now, but she has a lot of problems with, um, you know, uh, just skin disorders and different things. So the chemo, um, uh, there's a lot of things that go along with it. I don't know, believe in just chemo. I think if there's alternatives in other countries, they don't have the chemicals in the food that we eat, so they don't get cancers like we do. And I think my own opinion, that has a lot to be involved with all of this. But as far as um, you moving forward, that helped you. So you use the modeling as a base to not only open and learn about yourself, but also to help out this organization and with your mom because you had her at your heart, which I think is awesome that you're that kind of a, you're a great girl, you really are, and you're so beautiful too. Um, so now, moving forward for the future, to keep this going, how long have you, first of all, been involved in this organization, and has this been going on for a while, or did this just start this organization? So I have been involved in this organization since I competed back in 2011, a little bit before. Um, my best friend, Marissa Levesque Bray, uh, is the owner of this organization, and she is one of the primary reasons I got involved. I wanted to have a great platform to show people that it isn't just breast cancer awareness. This is breast cancer awareness in the sense that it's something that everyone is affected by. Yes. And, and not just 
we're affected by, but obviously, you know as well as I do, there's so many people around us, even in this restaurant we're in right now, there's probably people that have gone through it or know people that they know are suffering. And it's not just women, folks. Men get breast cancer. Uh, and a lot of you guys I know don't really think that, but um, that's a fact. Just so you know, it's something that it's not just for women. It is, you know, worldwide, and it is whether you're a man or woman. So um, this has been around since 2011 that your friend started it? Yes. Yes, it has. It's been around before then, but it really started picking up momentum in 2011. Um, initially, I just started it as a platform for my competition with Miss International, and from there, my friend asked me to be on the board, and now yeah. I currently am the marketing director for insurance. Well, I'll have to um, put something together, and we'll have to work on something special for you ladies, because you're all wonderful. I think you're all great, and I met quite a few of them since uh, before this interview. They're all friending me, and, and you, you girls are wonderful. I am really, really appreciate what you're doing. I think this test that they do is very important. Um, but besides that, I want to get more into you. You... Um, did the modeling, you did the Miss International, uh, are your futures in heart and soul still in modeling or did you want to venture up in something else and why? Okay, so I love modeling, but I'm more into fitness now. It is such a huge part of my life. Every day I wake up and I just want to eat right, I want to work out. I just want to focus on staying healthy so that I will be there and around for my future children. And how do you keep yourself on the straight and narrow when you're out with your wonderful friends and everybody wants to eat crappy? <laughs> do you splurge once in a while? Come on, be honest. Of course I do. I'm human. I mean, we exactly. all have those moments of weakness where yeah. our willpower gives way and <laughs> we just have to have that glass of wine or that cheesecake or that chocolate cake. Okay. So now in order to keep yourself in checkmate with... Uh, keeping yourself moving forward in your life, because this is what the show is about. Um, I want to know what keeps you moving forward for you personally, not just your foundation, which is, I think is a great way of you expressing, you know, um, support for your mom. And it's in you because it's your family and you're close to her, but also, you, you know, your own worries for yourself because, you know, hopefully it's not hereditary. Um, but as well, like you, just you personally, what can you tell the audience that will help them, especially if you become part of the book that I'm going to be writing and I'm letting all of my interviewees be a part of, what would you say people need to focus on to keep them moving forward, to keep them strong? And to, and there's a lot of people, the negativity around, and a lot of people, as we know, it's hard. And sometimes it's people close to us. It's, it, it's hard. But you, can you please tell me what it is that keeps you going? What keeps me going is the fact that I have decided to replace negativity in my life with positivity. In the sense that if you are a person who is toxic to me, I have decided that our relationship is better off left be. I have moved forward in the sense where I've, I've ended a lot of friendships and I feel bad about it, but in hindsight, I know. Excuse me, don't feel bad because they're not feeling bad, just so you know. The thing it, with, with focusing on moving forward in your life, and you know from the changes you're just talking about, is that people like that don't want to see you move forward. They're either insecure, jealous, they have low self-esteem, and they don't want to see you grow. And anybody that is on your team that cares about you, no matter what is going on in your life, as long as you're not hurting anybody, they want to be your biggest cheerleader no matter what. Just so you know, and you're younger than I am, and just so you know, it's a long road, and you are, you are doing the right thing, and to have a focus to stay away from people like that, because, and don't feel bad, though. It's just seriously, because then you waste that time on feeling bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. I do agree. Um, you know, 
It's really a learning experience. You really need to figure out who you are, where you want to go, and how you want to get there. And once you set your mind to something, you'll just continue to prosper. That's actually what I've pretty much done my whole life, is I've just kept moving forward. A door closes, a door opens. You are never, ever give up. That's basically the bottom line. So in other words, you learn from all of your experiences and take all the goodness out of them instead of focusing on the bad. Now, one last question. Now, when people around you are like that and you can't get away from it, how do you handle that? Because it is hard sometimes when we're in those circumstances and it's so hard to want, you know, we bite our tongues and like what, you know, I mean, you're a lot younger, like I was saying earlier, but it, it's hard to make a decision on how to react in front of people. It's not easy. Honestly, I just try to ignore them. That's the best advice I can give you. You know you're better than that. There's no reason to stoop to their level. Just continue to move forward in your life and love yourself and the people around you who support you, they love you too. And just know that, you know, you don't need that negativity. You can continue and you will be successful if you get rid of the negativity in your life. Exactly. So what holds in your future? What are you looking to do in your future? Well, I am looking to do another fitness competition. I Yay. finished my last one in April and I absolutely loved it. Not only was it mentally challenged, but obviously physically challenging as well. And it was just amazing. I had such a great opportunity and I did it along with one of my friends, Audra Bath. It's great to have a partner to do anything in life with, so yeah. Awesome, excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate all the time that you spent with me here at this beautiful place in uh, Foxborough Stadium here. This is really wonderful. And uh, you folks who want to check this out, it'll be on YouTube as well as on www.movingforwardwithandrea.com as well as Marie will have this on, Marie Catherine will have it on her uh, emails for, well actually you put it on your Facebook and you can find this as well and thank, thank you everyone for participating. I appreciate all your time and I'm just going to have a word from our sponsors and then we'll be moving forward. Thank you. And a word from our sponsors, Specialized Physical Therapy, moving you forward. This is uh, Amy Spencer from North Reading, Mass. At 161 Main Street is providing the best physical therapy to move you forward in your therapeutical needs. Especially, um, I had experience. She was great. She's there to check into things and making sure that you're, you know, accomplishing, not just doing the work and not caring. So, if you want all of your physical therapy needs, talk to Amy. She is the owner and the physical therapist there at North Reading. You can reach her at 978-664-4008 and check out her website at www.specialized.com. Thank you.